guys, it's time to mow oats. Came out this morning, did some looking. Everything is past or just at milk stage. Milk? Oats make milk? Well, hell yeah. How do you think they get that oatly milk out of the store? They go out, they combine the oats, get the milk out of it, bottle it up so the uh, people that can't have dairy still have some milk. Nah, I'm just pulling your leg. Anyway, we still got the planter tractor on the mower. I took the monitor out this morning though because it's kind of uh, hanging around a little bit. I need to make a new uh, new mount, new bracket for the planter monitor. Anyway, we're mowing oats. We've got a slim chance of rain coming this weekend. Actually, it's like Friday. It's hardly the weekend, but I think most of them will be ready to bail before then, especially we get them all knocked down today. Or a good portion of them knocked down. Yeah, this side hill's kind of rough. Anyway. Got some neat looking flowers on this hillside. This, this is part of the field that was all, uh, all grass before. Actually, the guy had it in CRP because he, I don't know, didn't want to farm it or thought it was too steep or whatever reason, but those orange flowers are what's called mare's tail. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, they're kind of pretty. I like orange. And a bunch of giant ragweed down here in this corner. Anyway, man, this is pretty rough. I'm gonna, I'll get some video here after a bit. This is too rough. There we go. It's not quite so bumpy back here. Anyway, this, as I was saying, this is the new farm, new to us farm. We just, just got the seating on it this year. First time we've been over it. We did look, did all that cleanup on it. Pulled this fence for a while and did all those, uh, uh, those little stumps and stuff that was in there. And pulled some trees. And the oats aren't terribly bad in here. I'm kind of surprised. They're actually a little thicker than the field right next to our new shed. Now this back here was a was a crop field, but up around the corner, up over here, was where they had it fenced off, and it was more like a pasture CRP type crap. But it's all in oats now. We seeded everything down down to get hay uh, hay mix. <laughs> and after seeing what that corn's doing on the alfalfa, I'm pretty sure in, I don't know, two or three years, depending on which, which ones we break out first, we're going to have a good corn crop. So that's the plan. There's a little corner right here that's got a big ravine in it. We, we thought maybe we were going to wipe this fence row out. We've got some bigger trees in here and, uh, and kind of shape it up and, and true it up. But... After we saw the big ravine in there, we thought, nah, we'll leave that alone for now. Maybe in the future, we can clean that out. But right in through there is where that big ravine is. So it's not really going to gain us a whole lot to clear that. Kind of had the idea, I don't know, down the road in the future, you know, five, ten years, this big ravine in this draw right on the other side is our property line so thought maybe we put a big big pond in this ravine right here and clean all these trees out make it look nice boy that'd be pretty sweet wouldn't it the only other thing i wished i would have done was was looked at this one a little bit closer when we had the tree puller out here this isn't really a, a ditch it's just uh, growing up to trees and shit because we had it in CRP and I didn't think to look in there to see if it was a big ravine or not. And it's not, so we should have cleaned that one out too. That way we wouldn't have this stupid little finger going up through here. Well, maybe we can do that this summer, a little later on or something, clean it out. Bunch of weeds back here. Well, it'll do it some good to get it trimmed off and, and bailed up and get all these weeds cut and killed. Now, 
new seating has definitely got a better stand up on top of the hill on the old crop ground. I don't know if that uh, existing, you know, the CRP slash hay ground that we worked up, that's causing it some, you know, causing some problem and didn't, didn't come up well or what, I don't know. It's definitely not as smooth as I'd like. This old, uh, this old crop ground is pretty smooth, you know, we field cultivated it, and seeded it, and then hit it with that cultivator. And the other stuff, we offset this, and hissed it again, and field cultivated. Well, I should say soil finished. And then seeded it, and then broadcast, and, you know, I mean, we broadcast the seed, and then we run the cultivator on it, but it's just not as smooth as this is. Probably can't see it real well, but there is some alfalfa in there, but there's an awful lot of weeds. A lot more than uh, the field of the house, by far. Not really liking that too much, but what the hell. Not much I can do about it now. It is just okay it's not real super oh man I'm glad to have this one done all that hillside there where it's, where it's kind of a darker color that's where that pasture slash CRP shit was fenced off man that sure is rough I sure wish we could have used the moldboard plows in there instead of them stupid offset discs. All right, on to the next one. So the next one here is an organic field, and it's not worth a shit. Hardly any oats. At least there is some alfalfa. Pretty thin throughout most of the field, and a whole lot of cockleburs. Well, I guess the good thing is it's got alfalfa and we're cutting them off, so the cockleburs hopefully will kind of go away. I know they will by next year. Man, 34 something acres here, and it's, it's all pretty much like this. <laughs> Not worth a damn. Okay, so I lied. It's a little thicker up here on the main hilltop. Actually, it's quite a bit thicker. The oats aren't really taller, but the grass coming through is a lot taller. So we're definitely getting more uh, hay tonnage. I mean, we're around the perimeter. It's pretty, pretty thin. And that long finger going down that way is pretty much nothing. <coughs> <coughs> Anyway, nice day to be just out mowing hay all day. Breaking little oats today, guys. I'm having to drive through my corn to get to it. So the corn looks pretty good that we're driving through. Down here on these points where there wasn't much, it's finally coming around. It's starting to yellow off down here on this corner, but that's kind of to be expected. Pretty thin side hill. Oats look pretty good for the most part, at least in this bottom. I didn't mow this one, I mowed this one with the, the other mower. It does a good job.
just a light kind of drizzle bullshit this morning. Not really enough to do anything, but it was enough to uh, dampen the oats and let that crap burn off. <coughs> and then tomorrow is supposed to be nice and sunny most of the day, so hopefully we can get the majority of everything bailed up. Might try bailing this one and the one at the, the big shed done yet tonight. It's pretty thin over here. Man. Well, I can see the alfalfa down there, though. At least it's not a total waste. We've got some good alfalfa. And I can look at the corn again, huh? I, I like that look, guys. That's, that looks good. Man. Pretty nice. Not really seeing too many short spots. Except for right here. This is where I first had the buffalo on the second pass. And I turned the throttle up and let it rip and it kind of buried it. I'm pretty surprised that it's still there. It was kind of that way most of the way through here. I got some of these are still slightly wounded, and there's some that are wounded. Oh well. the old folk saying of uh, cut your hay down to make it rain well it worked because uh, we cut all the all the oats down and we got four days of rain I mean that's kind of a good news bad news scenario we needed to rain but we had the hay down but you know what I'm not going to complain because uh, that corn right there is looking pretty good and most of the oats, like like we were showing, you know, they were pretty short. Had uh, I had a few acres of it raked, and some of it bailed. But what we're doing now is trying to roll these run rows that were raked, trying to roll them over to get the, the wet side up to dry. Oh, well, this is one of the bottoms that we had already raked, and it might have went, but it would have been pretty wet. To try and bail it that last night before it rained. Anyway, so we're just kind of driving right alongside the windrow here so we can rake it over. That way we can get the bottom wet stuff up on top so hopefully it'll dry and be ready to go by tomorrow. And we got to try to get a bunch done today because tomorrow night into the next day it's supposed to be another chance of rain and it looks like we're going to get it for sure. So we're gonna try to get as much done as we can. Get everything wrapped up we can. Oh well, I'm glad to have the rain. Not that this stuff is, you know, totally useless. We are planning on feeding it, but it's not uh, straight pure alfalfa or, you know, super high dollar stuff. And it was short. We've got a few spots where it was, where it was okay and most of it was just too short. Finally got some decent hay raked up. It's pretty well dry enough. It, it kind of looks kind of funky because it's got that, you know, that shit on the bottom that was uh, kind of getting wet from the rain and such. Well, it worked through the hard stuff, the stuff that was raked up. It's it's still not being dry enough to bail yet. I kind of did an experiment with the uh, the big rake and. Those center kick wheels, I use those to set right on top of the windrow and kind of split it open. I don't know. It, it was kind of working yesterday, but it, it didn't flip it over. So we're having to break it again today and flip it over so we can get the, the bottom part, get some sun on it so it can dry. This other stuff, though, it's turning out okay. We're running 15% uh, moisture at the moment. And man, there's still a lot of oats down there, so I'm glad we didn't just leave them or uh, try to hurry up and bail them with them being wet because that, you know, that's, that's no good. 
Now this is one of the organic farms and the oats are okay here. They're not, I mean, they're just, they were thin to start with, so that's kind of helping them to dry down. But uh, since they've been laying there for four days and got rained on three out of those four days, boy, they're, they're uh, not as bright as they should be. But that's okay, my cows will still eat them. this particular field was raked yesterday afternoon started on at about 5 30 and I came over last night and made a couple rounds and it was almost dark when I got here and they were just not quite ready they were almost there but you know by the time I made it around the field once the dew was coming up so we had to quit anyway anyway today they're they're doing good 15 percent moisture there in the blue so we're good to go. Just got to get them rolled up. Well, that's it. The very last bail. We were able to get done before the rain. That's fantastic. Back up here and shit it out at an angle. Then roll. All right. What do we have? 196. I don't know. They ain't got that one counted yet. There we go, 197. Hey, that's not, you know, that's not too bad. That'll feed a few cows over the winter. Well, it turned out all right. <coughs> what time is it? About seven o'clock. Hey, right, cool, I would go see some, shoot some fireworks. All right, well, thanks for catching, coming along, guys. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and certainly come along for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.